I am not going to waste any of your time if you are not going to pay attention. Then this video is useless, my friend. This video could save you from thousands of dollars on your car maintenance. Watch closely and pay attention to every word I say. You will thank me later, my friend. As a kid, I've always wondered, what is the point of the left or right gauge on the dash? In fact, many adults still ask that question. In this video, you, my friend, will find out the name and the purpose of this gauge. You will also find out what RPM is. You will also find out a secret little trick that will save you money. Remember, if you are not going to pay close attention, then you can click off. The people with a good attention span will stay and save lots of money. So, let's start. This little gauge holds a name. It is called the tachometer. The whole point of a tachometer is to show you the engine's RPM. What is an RPM, you may ask? RPM stands for revolutions per minute, however, it's usually called revs per minute. A revolution per minute is the amount of times an engine spins per minute. What is a revolution? Once the engine has spun, it is called a revolution. Let's say the engine has spun one time. That means that the engine had one revolution. And by spun, I meant rotated, a revolution is the complete rotation of the engine. Now, let's say you're pushing on your gas pedal lightly. The tachometer shows that your engine is about at 1,500 RPM. What does this mean? This means that your engine is having 1,500 revolutions per minute. That's to say, it's spinning or rotating 1,500 times per minute. Now that you know what a tachometer is and what is an RPM, it is now time to move on to the secret that I've been promising you. The secret is that the tachometer also indicates you at what RPM the engine is idling. Typically, when not in motion, the RPM of the engine stays from 600800 RPM. Older cars may idle at around 1200 RPM. However, most commonly, cars stay at 700 or at 0.7 on the tachometer. If the engine hasn't been working for a long time, the RPM will be higher when the car is first started, especially during the colder days. That's why you should wait until the RPM drops to around 1000 revolutions per minute, optimally, after you have started your car. This practice is healthy for your engine. It will not only make the engine last longer but, it will also save you loads of money on your car maintenance, since the engine is warmed up. Lastly, it is important to note that even though it is nice to have a tachometer, you can get by just fine without one. In fact, some cars don't have one. I forgot to add that tachometers help you out a lot when you are driving a manual car, they help you a lot when shifting through gears and let you know when it's time to switch gears. But let's say you don't have a tachometer. If your car is manual, your engine should let you know when it's time to switch gears. The louder and higher pitched the engine, the higher the RPM. Also, in really cold days, idle at around 10 minus 15 minutes. In automatic cars, the tachometer is almost useless, though it is nice to have it. Therefore, this leaves many people wondering what its purpose is. You and me, my friend, were one of those people. Congratulations! You have now acquired the knowledge of the tachometer. You have also obtained a tip that could save you lots of money. You have beat the 99% of car owners that have already clicked off this video. If you want to save more money on car maintenance and to learn more about cars, be sure to like and subscribe. If this video has helped you, be sure to leave some comments. Feedback from you is highly appreciated. Farewell.